are just individuals. <laughs> Hello, you gorgeous individuals. It's Kav here, and today I'm going to be discussing the Netflix show Never Have I Ever. In case you don't know, Never Have I Ever is a Netflix show that was just recently released. This show chronicles the life of a 15-year-old Tamil American teenager, Devi Vishwakumar. Now, Devi has just experienced an extremely traumatic freshman year of high school, so she begins her sophomore year of high school in a completely different mindset. Okay, okay, bye! Davy begins her sophomore year of high school in a completely different mindset. She now essentially has this goal of becoming cool. She plans to achieve this with her friends by having them all get boyfriends who would essentially raise their status. Now, I watched the entire first season of this show yesterday. And after watching it, I was left with a lot of complicated feelings. So I asked you all if you would be interested in me doing a video on this show, and the majority of you said yes. Before filming this video, I looked through YouTube and through Google to try to find other reviews of this show because I wanted to hear other people's thoughts on the show. And I could find quite a few reviews, but I could only actually find one other review from a Tamil person. That was somewhat frustrating to me. I want to hear about this show from the people who are actually being represented on the screen. Quite frankly, I don't really care about white people's opinion on this show. So with that said, as a Tamil American person, I feel that I definitely deserve a voice in discussing this show. So with that, let's just jump into all of my complicated emotions about Never Have I Ever. So I just have a really long bullet pointed list of everything I want to discuss in this video and I really have no idea how into spoilers I'm going to be getting. So watch this video at your own risk. This is my disclaimer. The first thing that I noticed about this show and it was so frustrating to me was the random white dude narrator. I could not understand why he narrated the show. I know they said something about how he is Davy's dad's favorite tennis player, but it just felt so out of place and so random. I think it would have been much more impactful if they had an actual Tamil person narrate the show. I don't understand why it was this random white guy, but if they were so certain about having random white guy narrate the show, the least they could do is teach him how to pronounce the names correctly. He essentially mispronounced every single Indian name in the show. He pronounced Davy's name wrong in every single episode and it was so infuriating. Her name is Davy with a DH sound at the start, it's not Davy, and her last name is Vishwa Kumar, not Vishwa Kumar or whatever he was saying. He also pronounced Davy's cousin's name wrong. I think he said something like Kamala or Kamala. Her name is Kamala. And he also managed to pronounce Davy's dad's name wrong, which was probably the most simple name. So I have no idea how he messed that one up that bad, but he pronounced Mohan as Mohan or something of that sort. And it was so infuriating. I mean, if you are going to have this person narrate the show, he should pronounce the names correctly. It's really offensive for him not to. Also, in terms of the name mispronunciations, when Davy was at school and stuff and all her classmates and teachers got her name wrong, she just was fine with it. And that is not a realistic representation at all. Me and all the other friends of color I have who have had our names mispronounced again and again and again are not just fine with it when people mispronounce our names. We get angry. I know I definitely get angry and I definitely get upset. That is what I've also seen of the people in my life. I really don't think her just being okay with it was realistic at all. I actually didn't know this until my sister told me about it. All the Indian accents in the show were fake. That was another thing that I just thought was ridiculous and unnecessary. I just, I don't even know where to begin with that. What is the point of it to have fake Indian accents. I don't know how it benefits the show. If anything, I think it takes away from having any authenticity in the show. But one thing I did really appreciate about the show was 
how casual Bumble was integrated into the show. That's not something I've ever seen in a TV show or a movie or read in a book. So it felt super cool to have that experience because I've never gotten that before. So that was something that just meant a lot to me, although I don't know what the hell a duckly is. Other than that, I did really appreciate the casual demo that was integrated into the show. Another thing that I felt was not done well was the whole wheelchair thing. I've seen some articles calling it ableist. I am not disabled, so I am not the authority on that, but I felt that it was done very poorly. The fact that a hot guy basically healed Davy was so ridiculous. I don't think you can just see a hot guy and then stand up when your legs have been paralyzed for three months. I mean, I've never seen a girl so hot that she cured my bipolar disorder, so what am I doing wrong? I just felt like that, again, really minimized any significant impact that plotline would have had to the show, especially because it ultimately didn't actually add anything to Davy's story arc or to the overarching plot of the show. But one of the biggest positives of this show was the fact that it was a all people of color main cast. That's not something you ever really get to see in Hollywood or in Western media, so I really really loved that because I just thought that that was really fucking cool. Another huge positive to me was also how well the storyline of one of Davy's friends who realized she was gay over the course of the show was done. I thought that that storyline was handled exquisitely and it was just so heartfelt and touching and I really really appreciated it. I think that that honestly might have been my favorite aspect of the show. That was representation that I found was done really really well. It just really touched me. I also found the love triangle of the show really interesting. I know a lot of people think that love triangles are an overused trope and they shouldn't be used anymore. Generally I agree with that but I actually really liked it in this show. I honestly still can't decide which love interest I preferred Davy with more. I just felt that both relationships were developed so well. But that being said, I thought this show was going to be about three really strong women of color who are great friends and seeing them succeed. I didn't think it was going to be a show about a girl basically ditching her best friends for a boy and for popularity. I really feel that Davy's character was one-dimensional and really superficial. I think that she did so many crappy things over the course of the show, and I am all for young adult characters and teenage characters doing really, really crappy things because I think that that is so realistic. But Davy's motivations for doing so were just so superficial just because she thought a guy was hot. It just really bothered me that she was basically reduced to a girl who only cares about a guy's hotness and about getting popularity. I really didn't like that. I just felt that her character was honestly one-dimensional, that there was no depth to her. Going off of that, another thing that really frustrated me about this show was how Indian culture was really depicted in a negative light. I completely understand Davy's experience. I understand the experience of being the first generation of your family to grow up in America, so that leaves you with a lot of shame and guilt around your ethnicity. I get that. I really do. I feel like they downplayed that storyline so much and they didn't do anything useful with it. What bothered me is that there was no growth on Davy's part to have her come to a point where she appreciated her culture. There was a scene in the Ganesh Puja episode where Davy ran up to an old friend of hers. She talked about how she didn't really like this festival and her friend talked about how he felt the same way growing up, but after going to college, a lot of that changed for him, and he learned how his culture was important to him and that he didn't have to be embarrassed or ashamed of it. Davy basically was like, okay, whatever, and then left. That's something that could have then translated to Davy's experience, and it could have shown her growing to appreciate her culture, but it was not 
done well at all. There was also the Islamophobic comment that was made that really pissed me off. Essentially, a woman was ostracized from the Indian community because instead of following through on the arranged marriage her parents wanted, she married a Muslim person. That same woman later says that she regretted her decision and wishes that she just stuck to the arranged marriage. There was also a Modi joke that was made when they were on their way back from the puja, which again was really crappy. For any of my viewers out there who don't know who he is, Narendra Modi is the current Prime Minister of India and he is basically a Hindu nationalist. I feel like this show really played into Hindu nationalism. The issue is that it played into Hindu nationalism. It didn't do anything to confront it. I also felt that the arranged marriage storyline was done so poorly. That was another thing that I think was used to depict Indian culture in a negative light because it essentially showed arranged marriages as something that all Indian children are forced into and it's horrible and terrible and that's not the reality at all. First of all, arranged marriages are not always bad. Sometimes people actually want to do them and I don't feel like anyone ever acknowledges that. People are not always against getting an arranged marriage and they can be happy in their marriage. The other thing is that not all Indian parents are forcing their children to have arranged marriages. It just felt like that was how this show was portraying it because it did it with not only Kamala, Devi's cousin, but then it also included the ostracized woman from the Indian community. Another part of that that's frustrating is that their opinion of the arranged marriage changed when they found out that Kamala's potential partner was hot. That's what changed their mind. Again, that felt like it really minimized Kamala's character and made her someone who was super superficial, which is not how I saw her for the majority of the show. They didn't actually explore the intricacies of arranged marriages, and if they're not going to take the time to do that, they really should have left it out of the show. There were also some fat phobic jokes that were made throughout the show and seen as okay, which I also did not enjoy. And there was also some ableism towards mental illnesses. There were some pretty horrible comments that were made. There was a scene where Davy essentially said that Ben was super lonely and he might try to hurt himself because she was trying to convince her mom to let her to go over to Ben's for his giant birthday party. There was also a comment where the mom joked that she was going to kill herself. I know that there was another really horrible comment made during that same episode, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. There were only a few comments, but the comments were so horrible, and I don't think the show would have lost out on anything had they not used those specific comments. I did really love the Ben episode. I think that Ben was honestly the most developed character throughout the show far more than Davy. I really loved his character and I really loved the Ben episode, but I also don't know why it existed because no other character got their own individual episode, so I don't understand why he alone got that, but I do love Ben. I also felt that the grief and loss theme was handled very, very well. I think that's one of the strongest suits of the show, how well that theme was handled. So those were all the notes I had. Now I'm going to talk about the show overall for a few minutes. Obviously, I have some really complicated feelings about the show. There were some things that I thought were really great about it, and there were also some things that were really terrible about it, in my opinion. I mean, I think it's a really fun show. I watched the entire season in one day. But I also was really disappointed in it for a number of reasons. I was so disappointed in how Indian culture was depicted in this show. That's not to say that there is nothing wrong with Indian culture, because of course there is. But the issues they showed were not actual issues of the culture. And of course there was the Islamophobic comment, and of course there are Hindu nationalists, but 
that wasn't even expanded on at any point. I feel like if they wanted to show issues with Indian culture, they should have shown the actual issues with it instead of making it seem like something people should be ashamed of. Again, that's not to say that I don't understand where Davy's character specifically is coming from, but the arranged marriage storyline and the Indian auntie's behavior was outside of Davy. Her story was supposed to be paralleling this line of feeling not Indian enough in Indian communities but then feeling too Indian in white communities and I think it just did that storyline without any depth. Sure, this show was not meant to be some kind of critical exploration of Indian culture or anything, but then they shouldn't have started these storylines that they weren't willing to explore. If they didn't want to have those conversations, fine, but why would you bring up points that would start a larger conversation and then just let it drop off? I was also just really disappointed in Davy's character. I was expecting strong female friendships, not a really superficial one-dimensional main character who only cares about sex. In the second episode of the show, Davy goes up to Paxton and she asks, can we have sex? Not, hey, I like you, do you wanna hang out or something? She goes, hey, I like you, let's have sex. First of all, I'm sorry, no Indian child is going up to some random guy and asking him, to have sex. It just felt like she was so superficial and all she cared about was boys. That just made me really sad because I was interested in seeing a strong Tamil American main character, not someone so superficial who only cares about popularity and boys. I don't even feel like she did enough to make amends for her actions. She was kind of just going through something so her best friends were like, well, whatever, we love you. She never actually made amends for the fact that she was consistently doing really crappy things. I don't think this show was bad. I think that it was funny. I think that it was enjoyable. I think that it handled certain themes very well, but I wanted it to be better. I wanted this show to truly give me representation as a Tamil American person. And I was so excited for that but it did such a crappy job of it. Part of me is conflicted because I don't think that representative media has to be education or should be created so that people who don't identify with whoever is being represented can learn. But I also feel like this is the first real mainstream show that I can think of in Hollywood with a Tamil American main character. I don't want non-Indian people to watch this and think this is what our culture is and this is what our experience is. I don't feel like we should have to settle. I don't feel like we should accept this as the only representation because I think that we deserve better. And again, that's not to say that this show was terrible because I actually really enjoyed watching it and it was a fun show, but it also did some pretty crappy things. I don't think that it was what the trailer portrayed it as. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Never Have I Ever. They're very complicated and conflicted. That is essentially all I have for this video. I just really needed to get all these thoughts about the show out there and I'm excited to continue the discussion with you all in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mess of a video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe because that stuff makes her happy. Go ahead and comment down below what your thoughts on the show were because I'd really love to continue this discussion with you all. As usual, all of my social media and my Goodreads will be in the description below if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day and night wherever you are. Please remember that you are beautiful and you deserve the world and I'll see you soon for a brand new video. Goodbye!